Cupids, hello my loves, marhaba haibete. Um, I wanted to talk to you guys today about the Storybook Cosmetics Wand Brush Set. Now I know it's currently sold out. Um, it was supposed to come back at the end of February. I keep hearing mixed reviews on what's going on, so I thought I would put this video up. So in case you wanted to go onto like eBay or Instagram um, to repurchase it from someone, or when it does go on pre-sale, you kind of wanted to decide ahead of time <laughs> whether or not you wanted to purchase it. I wanted to quickly... Um, talk about the the products what i thought um, of these brushes and all that kind of good stuff um these i believe retail for 55 dollars. i will um check that and put it maybe somewhere on the screen somewhere okay sufficient time um for the set of five brushes so it comes with all five, they come nicely like packaged each individually in um, plastic. And then they come in this nice little, if I can get it from underneath this book, <laughs> um, like velvet pouch with this kind of metallic -y material on the top. The pouch is nice enough. I like the logo. I don't know that I necessarily would store them in this pouch. Um, the inside is not lined with velvet. It's like a, just kind of like a, meshy, plasticky material. I'm losing in my entire vocabulary this afternoon. It seems like an apt time to film. These brushes are lovely. They're synthetic, um, and so it makes cleaning them really easy. I will say that while synthetic brushes have improved a lot, and there are some really, really soft synthetic brushes that you wouldn't know were synthetic, these are not the ones. They're not overly scratchy, um, but they're not overly uh, soft and like, you know, Sometimes you, you pick up a brush, it's like bunny's feet on your eyes. This isn't that, um, but they're, they're not, it's not aggravating or like eyeball exfoliation. You don't have any of that with this one. I will say I wasn't expecting them to have as much heft as they do. They're nice and heavy in your hand, which is nice when you're applying it. I don't know, I like the, to have that heaviness in my hand. Yeah, because this brush I use to blend out. I do not. Anyways, so I like the heft on them. Um, it does seem like a high quality, it's not plastic like a mid quality kind of um, metal composite type situation. Um, I think I showed you in my haul, but it says Storybook Cosmetics on one side and has the logo on the other, and then the wand hand here. Um, I'll talk you through what I like using each brush for, and um, then whether or not I really feel like it's worth the hype. So this one has a nice flat bottom on it, um, I found that it's really, really nice to, to deposit cream or even shadow underneath the lower lash line. I also found that I can use it for my gel liner in my waterline. It works really well for that. I will say, I don't know if you noticed in the close up, but there are hairs that are starting to come out of it already. Um, like you can't pull at them and, and have them actually fall out, but they are starting to shed. So I'm sure that there'll be a little bit of shedding with these brushes, which is just something to keep in mind. Um, and the bottom on this guy. It's like so. Uh, the second one is more of like a flattened dome <laughs> shaped situation. Um, I really found this one super lovely for packing on um, color and pigment onto the lid. I wasn't expecting it to do that. Um, I was expecting more to use in the crease, but I was like, hmm, let me try it. When I packed on the glitter or the shadow, it packed on really well and blended out effortlessly. I will say for like a duo fiber type brush, usually duo fiber brushes don't pack on as much pigment. I did not, do not find that this is the case with this, it's with this one in particular. Um, so I really appreciate that. The one that I have been enjoying in the crease is this one. I wish they had names on them, but they don't. They all just come part of the set. So this one's a little bit more elongated. Let's see if I can put them side by side and compare. Like, do you see how the bottom one is a little bit more pointed um, and precise, whereas this one is blending into the color of my skin? There we go. Has a little bit more of like a rounded, bushy almost kind of top. So this one I really, really love in the crease. It blends everything out, it diffuses. This one was probably the one I felt kind of the roughest. Um, it was probably because I was using it the longest to blend out, but it was it worked really well for that. Um, and then this last one, did I show you? No, there's two actually. <laughs> this one is the one I've gotten the least use out of. So um, it comes like so. I think it would be really nice for um, concealer or even lip products with a bottom like that. Um, I just 
don't use too much spot concealing like both of those things i don't usually use brushes for anyways which is why i've probably gotten the least use out of it but in terms of softness the way it washes out all that kind of stuff it's consistent with the rest and then this is the last one which has my favorite handle um which i think is supposed to be kind of reminiscent of a of a golden snitch uh, is this guy right here. These kind of brushes I adore for packing on uh, a cream base to begin your eye look. Um, I just, I really, really enjoy putting a cream on with a nice little dense short brush. So yeah, the, what I was saying about being inspired by a Golden Stitch, they have like a long disclaimer on their website that says that they don't make any warranties that this is a part of any franchise or this or that. Like there's some copyright issues with actually saying they're like Harry Potter brushes even though it's everyone, that is what everyone is coining them to be. Um, so yeah. Now, are they worth the hype? They are nice brushes. They're not cheap. Um, when my sister saw them, she's like, hmm, I was expecting them to look prettier and like more um, high end, whatever, you know what I mean? Like more, I don't know, more finished, more polished than they were. But neither of us was expecting the heft. The heft is nice. I do think that for the price tag, just the quality of the brush and the quality of the handle, um, you're paying a markup for the, the novelty aware of it. So are they worth the hype? They perform really well um, for synthetic brushes and they're, they're nice to work with and they're nice to look at. I think you are paying a premium on them given the novelty factor, the, like the fact that they're wands um, and they're pretty and they'll, they'll make you smile. So I think they are worth the hype if you are a like, hardcore Harry Potter fan, if that stuff, that that genre, that realm brings you joy and happiness, you'll be like me, just like smiling the whole time you're applying your eyeshadow. And so for any of us that are in that camp, I think they are worth the hype. If you're not really, then I think you can get better brushes that are more affordable. The Real Techniques ones, for example, are great. Elf has some fantastic ones. Um, so I think depending on which camp you fall into, they would be worth the hype or not. If that makes sense. Anyways, any other questions or your experiences with them, please leave those down below. I'm gonna do some quick points of positivity and I will be done for the day. My first point of positivity is a really nice uh, walk. We've had like the last little bout of good weather before a massive snowstorm. So um, I really enjoyed getting out and getting some sunshine. My second is that I get on a plane in a week and go away. I don't know when you're watching this, if I've already gone and come back or if I'm on the plane or what have you, but. I'm really excited to, to take, up, take off for the weekend and be back. Um, I will try to remember to vlog a little bit so I can share that with you. And then my third point of positivity is a nice, calm, relaxing evening ahead. So that is it for me today. As always, because I know it's making you guys smile, I will talk to you ever so soon. But before I leave you, as always, let me remind you that life is just way too short to wear boring lipstick. Bye, guys.